Brittany and today's video we are getting right back into the creepy clowns. You guys know how I feel about clowns. I know a lot of you guys are freaked out by clowns. I know a lot of you guys love when I do clown stories. But what makes this story probably the scariest clown story that I've ever told in my channel is the fact that it's real. This is real guys and it's very disturbing so viewers beware like you're in for some disturbing stuff. A lot of you guys think that Pennywise the dancing clown is scary but have you heard about John Wayne Gacy? Yes, John Wayne Gacy. He was known as a killer clown. He really is a killer clown because he murdered 33 people. This guy, John Wayne Gacy, you know, he just seemed so normal, so loving. He would put on this act as a clown, Pogo, the clown is what he went by, but then after people were calling him the killer clown and you know, he would perform his clown act to sick children, raising money for charities, so he seemed like a really good guy. But under all of that clown makeup and that clown costume and that clown act, Pogo the Clown, he was a disgusting, disturbing serial killer. This is one of America's most twisted cases. This guy murdered 33 young teenage boys and you know just younger men between 1972 to 1978. What this guy did to his victims is just beyond sickening. He would strangle them, he would torture them, he would rape them, and when they were dead he would bury them under his house. One thing that I do not understand is he was married to this woman and she later on divorced him because he was convicted of sexually abusing a 16 year old. So, you know, after he was convicted, that was in 1970, or not 1978, 1968. Then in 1970, when he was released, that is when Pogo the Clown came to be and that's when he would perform for children. So. How is this man, how is he allowed to be a performer for children and be a clown? That's something that I don't get and it seems to me that people would be talking since he was well known, spreading, you know, like, you know what he did back in 1968, right? Like, why? Why are you giving him money to perform for children as a clown when you know he is sick in the head from what he did in 1968? But absolutely no one knew about what happened in 1968 and then during the time he was Pogo the Clown, that's when there was disappearances happening in the area. But no one put two and two together like he's the one responsible. So the way that he would lure his victims to his house is he would tell his victims that he needed help with scientific research and that he would pay them $50 to help him. When the victims made it to his house, he would hold them at gunpoint, make them drink all this alcohol and lie to them and then put them into handcuffs. Once his victims had the handcuffs on, that's when he would just torture them do disgusting things to them and then he would do something that he would call the rope trick which was part of his clown act where he would tie the rope around his victims necks and strangle them to death and he would then stash the bodies and bury them under his house like it's it just breaks my heart for the families you know when you hear about murders kidnappings and just Knowing what these people went through before whether they died or if they were held captive for years, it just breaks my heart. Like the newest thing in the news right now is that poor, well not poor fam, well the children, the 13 children that were, you know, held captive in their parents home in California and like they were only allowed to shower once a year and like they had no food, they were like it's just when you think about stuff like that and this is like an everyday thing there's always going to be stories like this and it's just so heartbreaking so this sicko was finally caught in december of 1978 when a pharmacy owner overheard 
this freak, I'm just gonna call him a freak because that is what he is. This freak, sicko, psychopath, he was offering a 15 year old boy a job. Like, thank you, pharmacy owner, for noticing that, how weird that is. A grown man offering a job to an underage boy. This young 15 year old boy, he went missing shortly after and you know, before he went missing, he actually told his mother about this job and then he went missing and of course he was strangled to death by the sicko. And this boy's body was found in the river. So John Wayne Gacy, the sicko, he, majority of his victims, he would bury under his house, but he did throw some of the bodies of his victims into the river. And wow, I cannot believe that I forgot to say this, but these crimes all took place in Cook County, Illinois. So finally, the day the sicko was caught was on December 22nd, 1978. Remember the pharmacy owner? Well, he was so suspicious because like a grown man offering a 15 year old a random weird job. So he got the police involved, the police tracked him down and when you know they finally found this freak, he broke down and confessed to all of his murders and everything he did to these poor victims. He was then on death row for 14 years and was then killed by lethal injection in 1994. And that is the story of John Wayne Gacy. He is way scarier than Pennywise the Clown, way more disturbing, and he's real. And that's what makes it even more disturbing because he, you know, would disguise himself as Pogo the Clown and I still don't understand how no one said anything about him, you know, dressing up as a clown, performing for these children, sick kids, raising money for charity, but maybe he was just trying to make himself look like, you know, a saint when really he was so evil underneath. But what he did in 1968 to that 16 year old, you know what I mean? And then he was then released in 1970 and then started the whole Pogo the Clown thing. Like, I would be like, um, excuse me, like, didn't you do this a couple years ago? Like, why are you allowed to be around children? So, disgusting, man, absolutely disgusting. So let me know what you guys think about the story down below. Today's shout out goes to Beauty Monster 1000 Thank you so much, girlfriend, for watching my videos. It means the absolute world to me. Also, too, I'm always asked about my Pennywise dress when I was Broody Wise at the Velisca Axe Murder House. So I will stand up so you guys can kind of see it more, but it's like a full out dress, even though you've seen it in my other videos. But I'm always asked where I got it from. I got it from Hot Topic. And I love it, like I just wear it as a dress because I love Pennywise and I'm just like out there <laughs> with my style and people are like, I love your costume and I'm always like, it's not a costume. <laughs> I ordered it online, I don't think they had it in stores so I'm not sure if you can still get it on Hot Topic's website. I'm not sure but that's where I got it from for Halloween so I love it though, it's just so cute so. Hi. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Hashtag team Brittany44. Hashtag Barilla Rins. Hey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.